Michael, looking at the experiment, it seems like the students did a perfect job because they got 9.8 meters per second from their data. However, can you identify any sources of error in the experiment? That's awesome work they got such a close result. But there will always be some uncertainties in anything you measure. In this case, the times and the distances as the ball falls. Let's think about how accurate those are. The students used a great approach of recording the times when the ball passed each white marker. The times come from the frame counter of the video and it should be accurate to half a division or half a frame. You can't do any better than that because sometimes the ball is above the marker in one frame and below the marker in the next frame. So what about the distances? Well the markers, they're really clear in the video and they're narrower than the ball so the uncertainty in the marker position as the ball goes past is very small and it shouldn't cause any large error in the answer. But there are other possible errors in the distance measurements. There'll be an error because the ball is actually some distance in front of each marker and the viewing angle from the ball changes as the ball falls. At the top, the ball is appearing to pass the marker after it actually does because we're looking at it from below. At the bottom, we're looking straight on, so we see it past the mark at the right time. This is called a parallax error. Finally, if you look carefully, the banner's not hanging perfectly straight, and that will have an effect on the measurement. So Michael, what do you think the students should do to refine the experiment? So first, they should think about what's their largest source of uncertainty. I think this is probably the frame count from the video. So they want to get a better slow motion camera with more frames per second. Uh, unfortunately, that's probably not possible in our budget. So what else can they do? Well, another approach is to get more measurements. And they can do this quite simply by adding some more markers to their backdrop. This will give them more points on the graph so they can improve their line of best fit. Or they could simply just do more measurements.